Uh, the last couple of days been like for you just, you know, obviously it was, it was doubtful and you tried to work your way back in. Everybody knows you don't want to miss time. So what has the last couple of days been like? Been rough. Um, it was a long week. Battled a lot of things, but um, I don't want to miss any any games regardless. You know, things happen in life. I've been through a lot, and you know, in general. So um, some people, you know, have their opinions like I'm crazy, but <laughs> I know I'm crazy. So it's fine. I love it. Um, everything I do, I do with a purpose, and um, I did everything in my power all week, and I can't, you know, give enough credit to everybody on the Raiders staff, um, Alex Guerrero, all, Tim Harkins, all those guys, they freaking uh, did everything in their power and I pissed them off and kept them up all night <laughs> trying to get on the field. So I can't I can't say enough about those guys. What did it take to convince them to get back on the field? Because I, you know, obviously you have to kind of talk to them. And... Well, there was a lot. Um, yeah. It wasn't convincing. It was like, had some real issues going on. Um, was in the hospital, <laughs> all type of shit. Um, yeah, it was tough, but found a way. Found how do you how do you feel now? And is it another rough couple of weeks coming, or is the bye week coming at a good time? Well, where do you go from here? No, it's coming at a good time for sure. Um, we just had to battle through some things. It was just tough. Had some infections, certain different things like that. So I was yeah down for the count for a few days. So um, yeah, just part of it. So. Luckily, you know, I have great people around me, great team around me, and they uh, they helped me a lot. Max, what was possible. your Max, what was your feeling? It looked about four minutes left in the game. They took you out. You didn't seem too happy about it. What, what was your feeling in that moment? I was upset. I got tripped up <laughs> on the edge and slammed my body in the ground. So they thought. I think they thought I was hurt. Um, and I was. Just, banged up a little bit, but like, <laughs> I didn't want to come off the field, you know, at that point, it was just frustration more than anything, you know, you put everything into it, I played my ass off, and everybody was out there playing their ass off, so like, I just wanted to give our team a chance, um, in a hard time, and uh, I didn't want to come off, so it's as simple as that. How tough was it just on a play-by-play -play basis to, to be in there, and how much pain were you actually in during the game? Oh, we can talk about it all day, but <laughs> I was in a lot of fucking pain. I'll say that. But it is what it is. I, like I said, I train all year round to do this and give myself the opportunity to play 17 guaranteed games. And if I can go, I come out and go. So, yeah. did you, did you, guys, you guys had a 14 nothing lead earlier. Did you feel there was a point when momentum kind of changed? Um, yeah, you know, I mean, they're a really good team. They're defending the champs. So you got to be on point from start to finish. You can't just be the first quarter. You know, we talk about starting fast, but you got you got to finish faster. So it's like you got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. And um, you know, they got the best quarterback in the world, so you can't lay out the gas whatsoever. Max, I just asked AP, and I'm not going to try to get in any trouble, but there were multiple times you were getting tackled. You could see the holds. Yeah. Do you? He said he's talking to the rest before the game, during the game, after the game. Are you as a captain able to say anything, or do you have to keep your mouth shut? Nah, it's, it is what it is. I'm used to it at this point. It's been <laughs> hi, J. Rock. Um, I'm used to it at this point. Um, that's what happens, you know. When you win a lot of rushes, you're gonna get held. So um, run or pass game. So it's just like a part. It's a part of you. You can complain about it. It ain't changing. So it is what it is. What percentage were you tonight? Healthy. Healthy. <laughs> it looked like at points. I, I guessed 60, 65 percent. Was that pretty accurate? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was, yeah. I can't put a number on it, but I was going through it for sure. Despite all that, you you did. Uh, I think we got a third down sack. Got the offense, moved the ball back on him a chance. Uh, what what did you see on that plan, and, and how that feels? That kind of a validation of everything you went through in the moment. Yeah, you know, I just out of body experience. Uh, I think I got freaking triple teamed on the play, and somehow I just I just kept fighting, finding a way, and. Uh, Made a play and help us, you know, help us, you know, get another, get our offense another opportunity in a big moment. So, yeah, it was it was a big play in the game. I was, yeah, like I said, out of body experience. Patrick Mahomes, he said after the game he had a lot of respect for you. You guys made you know trash talk back and forth, but he had tremendous respect for you even seeing the field today. Uh, what is that? How mutual is that feeling between you and Patrick? No question. Um, like I said, like I've said it many times, but he's he's the best in the game and. Uh, we're, you know, we go against each other twice a year. Um, 
you know, we have our back and forth and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's respect when you see another great one across from you. You know what time it is. So every time, you know, he brings the best out of me and, and, and vice versa. So um, I got a ton of love for him regardless. Um, it doesn't change how I'm approaching him. I'm trying to <laughs> hunt his ass down every time I, I go out there. But he knows that and he respects it and it, it goes both ways. So, yeah, I got I got a ton of respect for him. Is there something that they did offensively to all of a sudden kind of start having success or did they just keep plugging away and it was just tougher to defend them? Um, you know, they did a lot of different things. I got to watch the film, obviously, but uh, like I said, it's, it's the defending the world champs. You got to be on point and uh, just little things. It just comes down to details, getting off the field in critical situations. We didn't do that well enough today, uh, tonight, and we didn't play good enough complimentary football either. So um, those things go hand in hand. Max, speaking of respect, did you see all the love that you got on Hard Knocks? Uh, if so, how good does that feel? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had some people in my family and stuff send it to me. So I checked it out, me and, me and Rachel watched it, and uh, it's cool. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I play the game for one reason. It's because I love it, and I want to leave a legacy and be the best of what I do. And uh, when I see stuff like that, it just, you know, it's like a, a little bit more validation about, you know, all the work I put in and, you know, just a little little check mark. But it gives me more mo motivation to keep going and keep getting better because, um, you know, I'm only at the beginning of the story. So. Every single day is a battle. Every day is a challenge, and uh, you know, getting to see other teams and things like that preparing for me <laughs> in different ways, and practicing me doing extra stuff and all that. Like it's it's uh, actually pretty damn cool to see. So yeah, you know, especially when it's a, you know great ones like you know Dolphins and Chiefs and things like that. Like some of the best coaches and players in the league um, showing respect is is really cool. You guys all set? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.